Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. Hey, somebody in our group asked, what can you do with Silhouette software that you can't do in Design Space? And I'm going to show you one quick thing that you can do. So I'm going to go and get a Minnie Mouse picture. Now this Minnie Mouse is not one that we could legally use. Look at this, it's got watermarks on it. I'm just using this to show you what we could do if we had an image that we could legally use. I would choose an image that doesn't have a lot of shading to it, has a lot of contrasts, and I'm just gonna right click on that and say copy image. Then I'm gonna come over to Silhouette and I'm going to say right click and paste. Okay, and now I'm going to show you in how less than a minute I can change this as one full image like this with a box around it into something that you will be able to use as vinyl with cut pieces or with cardstock as cut pieces. So, get ready to time me. I'm going to change this right now. So starting now, I'm going to come over, click on this to highlight it. Go. Select the trace tool, select the trace area, go like this. And I'm going to show you this quickly, as quick as I can. I will show you this and I show you many, many more things in our program that we have, uh, the Patreon program, and I can't talk and do this at the same time. So um, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change the color up here to something that's not in my thing. There we go. And I'm going to come up here again, go to Object, and release compound path. And now I can take this big piece and move it out of the way and I'm gonna turn it into black because that's gonna be my backing. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this little piece right here because I don't want it. I'm gonna get the pink, shift, pink, pink, pink. I'm gonna change all these to pink like her bow is right here and get the eyedropper and pink. Then I'm gonna come on her face, click on her face, come up here to the color, get the eyedropper. Whoops, I keep messing up eyedropper there click on her tongue click up here get the eyedropper get her tongue boom I'm not going to change the color of all these black things behind her but oh before I do that I need to change the color of her eyes so I'm going to make her eyes white the white of her eyes white I'm going to put this behind here now and the only thing left I have to do is click her nose this I can do another tool over here and say subtract nose is black don't have to put black pieces Come to your eyes, subtract. Oops, no, don't subtract. Click this and now subtract. Don't have to get little pieces for her eyelashes. Same thing for her lips. This, hold that shift key down, grab that, subtract. And she is done and she is ready to go. I wonder how long that took. So when I send this over to Cricut Design Space, I have all these little pieces. I can build it on top of this piece. I have her face. I don't need to cut out little eyelashes. I have the whites of her eyes and her lips. That's it. This is something that we can do in Silhouette Business Edition for Cricut. You can do it. You don't have to have the Business Edition if you have a Cameo machine, but for Cricuts, you have to have the Business Edition. I'll have a link up above that'll take you to the Patreon class that I'm talking about where I'm teaching all of these different little skills for newbies, and I will have the link down below as well. So that's it. I hope this shows you something we can do in uh, silhouette software that we cannot do in Cricut Design Space yet. So thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.